I came to Nola to meet up with an old timer named Henri. Speaking to you through his radio, he wound up dead, along with a bunch of other folks. But look, I don't know anything about a dead old man. The old man had a name, and it was Henri. And it seems like Henri was trying to track you down. There must have been a reason, right? I'm telling you, I don't know anything about what's going on up there. There's no reason to track me down. What do you mean by up there? If you're not up here with the rest of us, where are you? That's, uh, that's classified. You, you don't have clearance. In, in fact, I, I don't even know why I'm talking to you right now. What the fuck was that? Are they coming for you? Shit. It's windy here. I, I don't know. Probably nothing. H hold on. You bullshit. You know what? Fuck you and your line. I'm done with this. Man, the radio. Doesn't that ring a bell? Hmm. There's a bow and arrow. And it's a key. I think I remember. <laughs> gotcha. That was close. Got way through there. That's it, we're still good. This needs a key as well. Some pills. <laughs> I need a better knife than this. Fit there. It's not even the matching key. Oh, 
some raven there. These. Oh, the map. Looks like a well. A letter. Henri, I found two more exiles wandering around the northwest corridor today. Was able to get them to safety, get them supplies for a few days. They said it's getting ruthless on the other side of the tower wall. More people exiled every week. We are making a difference out here. But if this pace keeps up, I just don't know. We're going to need more help. More intel to stay one step ahead of the bastards. The mud-slinging posters with my face plastered on them are not helping the situation. Ombra rips them down whenever she sees one, but they are everywhere. As I'm sure you've noticed. I know you want to simplify our system for the tower cash raids, but I need to keep to the shadows. The Sinclair casket and the lantern is working, so we might as well stick with it. Lantern on when there's something for you, off when there's something for me. This way, I can keep my distance. See what's up until I know it's clear. As usual, our resident Picasso has provided a sketch to guide you to the next tower cache. I know I'm biased. The kid's got ability, right? Maybe you can sit for a portrait one day. Umbra would love that. Same deal with the cash. Supplies are yours. The intel you drop off to me. Be safe. May. Get some rest. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Go for a smoke. Your sickness. That's why I need to find a cure for my sickness. Here we are via Corolla. of a shotgun.
see. I think I need to go to the blue landmark. What was that? Who's there? Just me. Trying to pass through. I'm the tourist. Damn this itchy nose. Yeah, you? <laughs> It'll do the glass bottles to kill them. So it's just like in the drawing. Doing that, you're gonna attract more. Hey, asshole, move it. I suggest you get lost. That's the tourist? Doesn't look so tough. Quit poking around. Quit poking around. Hey, feed it. I suggest you get lost. I suggest you get lost. Fuck you, corpse! Quit poking around. As long as you let me pass by without shooting me. Don't think we're not watching you. Sorry, I lost your friend. Behind you. Hope you don't mind my taking this. Sorry. Why not get a good headshot from here? Oh, nuts. <laughs> Did I? Someone's the oh, fuck! Get the fuck off of me! Here you 
You. You're going to shoot. How can I survive a headshot like that? Yeah, I killed you earlier, didn't I? Better than nothing. the heck sticky proximity huh Let's see what I can do about taking them out before I head out Up. 
So are you. I get out of here. Get back to the camp. I gotta fix myself.
<sighs> well, it's close enough. Just my vision's clear now. Have more books. The African past. Huh. Ah, fast. Wait. There's the tower. What is it? Yeah, I, I got spooked the other day. The crash rattled me. I'm sorry. It's just... I don't know who to trust. There's not many decent options out there, but... I'm getting desperate, so, um... I... I need to take a chance. Uh, on you. W what do you think? Can, uh... Can you help me out? Please? You've got my attention. I've been hearing things from the tower radio chatter. They found something, and I need it. Bad. The problem is I have no way to get my hands on it without help, without you. Now, I'm willing to give up what I know about the reserve in exchange. Does that sound fair? What do you need? A pump flow regulator. A tower patrol founded by Memorial Lane in the Garden District. Uh, it's just another useless piece of junk to them. The problem is there's a potential showdown brewing over there between the patrol and a reclaimed camp. It could get bloody quickly. What else? I like to be fully informed before putting my ass on the line. Fair enough. What do you want to know? What's the area like? The Garden District was one of the wealthiest areas of the city, so, you know, no surprise it avoided most of the flood damage. The folks hit hardest by the flood picked it as a spot for a memorial to victims. And two weeks later, when the dead started walking, the whole city was a damn memorial. Why are they fighting? Uh, you know, resources, territory, two opposed ways of thinking, butting heads. I mean, from everything I've been hearing on the radio the last couple of months, the bad blood just keeps getting worse. Look, I'm staying out of it, but I, I can feed you more details if you want. Who's running the show for each faction? Mama leads the tower. She founded the community. 
I don't know much else about her. She stays out of sight. Her right hand, her enforcer, is Georgia. Now, she's out there on the front lines daily. And from what I hear, she's a hard ass. Not afraid to mix it up. Get her hands dirty, you know? The reclaimed rally around this guy named JB. And no clue what it stands for. He's always proselytizing over the airwaves. Uh, frequency 54. Denouncing the tower. Saying they're already dead. I mean, he freaks me out a bit, but there's no denying he has charisma. How do they operate? What do they believe in? The tower is disciplined and committed to community. Everyone has to contribute to the cause. They must be doing something right. I've heard they have close to a thousand people inside their walls. Tower folks are fiercely loyal to their way of life. Maybe even to a fault. A bunch of loose cannons in the reclaimed. It's hard to know what they're up to most of the time. Their tactics are all about surprise and intimidation. Guerrilla warfare mentality. And they love creeping the tower people out. Weird rituals and stuff. They seem less interested in control and more into sending a message. What's your take on all this? If the fighting keeps up, this city's gonna explode into an all-out war. The tower maintains some sort of order, right? I mean, they, they offer some sort of semblance of safety, sure, but they don't hesitate to toss people out if they question authority. Once the tower kicks your ass out, there's no return. It seems cruel, but I don't know. Maybe that's the way it has to be. The reclaimed are eccentric, well, let's put it that way. But JB really knows how to motivate, uh, get, get people to buy into his vision. Maybe they're crazy, maybe they're onto something, I, I don't know, who knows. They are inspired though, always going on about the liberation to live, not just blindly following orders to barely survive. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they're both a bit fucked in the head. I've heard enough info on the conflict. Okay. Sorry, I know I can ramble sometimes. What's the area like? The Garden District was... Oh, I don't need to hear that again. The pump regulator is a piece of industrial equipment about the size of a coffee maker. Uh, pipes, switches, knobs, you'll know it when you see it. Now, the Tower Patrol has it at their camp. Red House on Memorial Lane. And remember, Reclaimed are nearby, so you... Might be caught in the middle of a scrap between them. Now, once you have it in hand, hustle back to the radio and contact me. Time is not on my side. If you pull this off, I'll spill everything I know about the reserve. You have my word. Alright. Now to check on that lantern. See what's in that coffin. I feel like there's a bit of disrespect for opening a grave that's already got a dead person inside. I know Omri is dead, and I know that for the time being you've stepped into his shoes, whoever you are. I am not in the habit of trusting people these days. Trust gets you dead when it's given to the wrong person, and there is a lot of wrong out there. But I am willing to set prejudice aside for a few moments so we can have a little chat, see if we can work together. I'm assuming you scored a few useful things out of that last tower cache. Well, there's more where that came from. As long as nothing happens to me. Understood? Get yourself to the churchyard. I will unlock the gate so you can reach the area. Stay out in the open. If I am satisfied you are alone, you will see me. Come on, stupid! Great. Must be her. 
Don't get used to meeting like this. It's a rarity. I understand. It's almost impossible to know who to trust. All right, then we're on the same page. I'll get to the point. Why are you helping me? Henri trusted you. Henri. So that's good enough for me. Were you two friends? I guess you could say we were new friends, sure. I saved his ass from a slew of walkers in the bayou. And I liked talking to the guy. He had a way about him. He sure did. My daughter was fond of him. Loved the way he could spin a tail. Well, may he rest in peace. You got some curmudgeonly shoes to fill. I'll point you to tower caches with useful supplies, and you get me the intel they contain. Sound like a deal? Maybe. But I have a question first. The tower seems to be after you and your daughter hardcore. What's that all about? You spotted those posters, huh? You wanna go there? All right, I'll give you the basics. I used to be with the tower. Now I'm not. We don't see eye to eye. I'm in the right, they are in the wrong. That's all I got for you now. Yeah, I'm on board. Good. Glad that's settled. Take this drawing. There's some intel at the location in the drawing. When you have it, leave it for me at the usual spot. Have to step away for a minute. That's irritating. Continue. Back to it. There's some intel at the location in the drawing. When you have it, leave it for me at the usual spot. Consider it done. Didn't mean to walk away while you were still in need of my help. Here's why I remember when playing the PS4, first reality version. Our big battle happens in front of this church. Yeah, where that bunker is. Damn, it doesn't have to go down. I don't have gunpowder for this thing. Keep all of that. Only for emergencies. Coyotes. Go there yet. Every lane, speak to the power tower lieutenant.
Oh, they got another fun. Totally the frame of that gun. Right, don't have a knife. Should have crafted one before leaving. I am not a good leader, but by the time I was 13 years old, I had seen it all. Hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, starvation, disease. Haiti never seemed to catch a break. So when the dead started to rise and panic overtook my adopted home of New Orleans, I was ready to rise. My neighbors were scared, but they were also resilient. All they needed was a voice to rally around. And in a moment of pure passion, a moment charged with a desperate drive to make certain we all survived, I took the lead, and they listened. But those first few days were pure chaos. So much loss, and yet we were able to gain a foothold in the Ninth Ward. We put our collective minds to work set up a scavenge system that was both safe and fruitful. Word started getting out. If you wanted to survive, go find Mama and her people. But soon, our community had outgrown the capacity of our perimeter. Jeff is in charge. A decision had Not to sure be made. Not why, but he is. Start turning Talk others away if he wants something. Or venture forth and establish a new home. That okay. will support every lost soul who found their way to our doorstep. I think you no can guess what decision I made. You have a problem the with tower that. will Jeff always stand. Mama. You got nerve rolling in here uninvited. Don't mean to intrude. We don't need strays poking around right now. We have enough problems to deal with. I prefer to think of myself as a free agent. Open to all opportunities. You know what? Yeah, you might prove useful. My brother is in some deep shit. Pack of reclaimed scum snatched him. Anthony's a good kid. Bit dim. But he doesn't deserve whatever those freaks have in store. We can't get anywhere near where they're holed up. Light blue house across the way. They'll gut him immediately if they see us coming. But you? They don't know you. You'll be able to stroll right in. After that, whatever you need to do, that's your business. Personally, I'd put a few bullets through their skulls. Let the dirt reclaim them. I'd like to know what I'm up against ahead of time. What are their numbers exactly? We've seen as many as four on the second floor, but you never know. They multiply like rats. Sounds like I can be of service. Get to it then. Knowing how those savages operate, you might not have much time before they execute him. All right. What was he thinking? These are people who have chosen to be savages, not rational people. Not people who understand and appreciate what the tower is accomplished. I'm sure I will be. We'll force you to swallow them whole. How does that grab? Who the hell are you? The negotiator. A big tough Jeff, too chicken shit to show his face and beg for his little brother's life. Not sure I really see the point. 
I guess I'm here to negotiate a deal for Anthony's release. Release? That's some kind of joke. That motherfucker isn't going anywhere but in the dirt, where maggots belong. What did he do? This subhuman shit is a murderer. My daughter is dead. The tower is at fault, and he is at fault. The tower preaches community, and yet they toss out those most in need because they are no longer useful, because they are a burden. Violet was not a burden. She was a human being, but this fucker treated her like trash. He could have disobeyed orders, but he did not. He forced her out, left her to die. She was 11 years old. Where is your head at, stranger? Exterminate this tower fuck right now, and we won't have a problem. Then we can pay the rest of the vermin a visit. And once they are a pile of corpses, whatever is in their camp, it's yours. Consider it a gift from the reclaimed. He doesn't have to die. You can be merciful. Where was the mercy for Violet? Huh? You're fucked in the head. Just could have like been an accident. Get out of my face before I tear yours off. I am sorry. Please. Do it already. Finish the fucker. I followed orders. That's all I'm guilty of. Please. It wasn't my decision. If I didn't do it, someone else would have. There was no preventing her exile. Do it already. Don't. <laughs> I tried to make right. I tried. I did it, but please. You don't have to do it. Have I on you? That's all I'm guilty of, please. It wasn't my decision. If I didn't do it, someone else would have. There was no preventing her ex hop. Got room to 12 more items here. I was skeptical, but you pulled it off. I didn't think I was ever gonna see my little bro again. You have my thanks. Anything you can scrounge up in that house is yours, as promised. No hassle from us. Hey. You're giving me a second chance. 
Thank you. I promise to make the most of it. You're welcome. Scanning the area. Where to find them parts? Commonwealth armor travel quite a ways. Who's sneaking around? No one. Just me. Here we go. Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm a wreck, Jeff. I keep seeing that little girl's face. These visions of her turning. This whole mess is fucking with my head. What did the Martins do to deserve being exiled? It makes no sense. They are good people. Now, I know this might put you in a tough spot. Please forgive me, but I need to make things right. At least give them a slim chance to survive out there. I swiped some supplies from our camp, so you know who to blame. Don't want any other innocent people taking heat. I'm going out to find the Martins and deliver the stuff. Least I can do. I pray it'll help me get my head straight. If I'm not back before the bells, wish me luck. Your little bro, Anthony. Well, see you guys later. Yeah, but that's a bitch of a walker. Don't want to stay on anyway. <laughs> 